Today I'm going to um, do a playthrough of the USS Laffey, the ship that would not die. Two story it's based on. Um, USS Laffey survived the most harrowing kamikaze attacks of World War II while on picket duty around the invasion of Okinawa <coughs> in 1945. Um, it was on radar picket duty during the battle when about 50 dive bombers, torpedo bombers and suicide planes um, sent by the Japanese in a desperate attempt to drive the US military. Um, so picket station one where his base was the most northern radio station. So it, it basically got the biggest hammering. 8.30 on the 16th of April. 1945, dozens of suicide aircraft arrived at Piggy Station 1. So, it's, I should have ripped these bits off because that's a game I just played, which I did win. Um, the worker placement game, I've got a couple of worker placement games and they're not. So if I sound a bit down on this game, it's just, I think it's just they're not particularly my cup of tea. But it's quite, as you can see, it doesn't take up a lot of table space. You've got two pads which form the ship and then you've got a number of dice and a few cubes and there's various variations on the game as well and I'm going to be doing the lieutenant level variation or if you're American I'm doing the lieutenant level variation which is the most historically accurate version I've not done this one yet so the difference is you, this dice here when you're setting up is used to measure how many supplies you've got so in the base game the command level you start with four now in the the one I just won which was the ensign level, you still start with four, but you only start with one in this. But I hardly use the supplies, so. Um, dice go to one side for the moment. Just put them, set them over there. And we have a number of different colored pencils we use. Quite a quick playing game. And one of the good things is, that I, if I'm going away somewhere overnight and I think I'm gonna be bored, I'll take this with me, because it's, it's all right, it's, it's pretty good fun. Um, so let's just check on setup, which is very, very quick. Set up with notepads. Um, place the two blue cubes. There you go. To start with in the battle dressing station. There are your damage control teams. You have two, which you move each turn, unless one gets destroyed, which I'm dead yet. The red cube is where which compartment is getting hit. So I'll just put that out of the way for now. And the green cube comes into action later on in this variation on these planes. I'll explain that as I go along. So, turn sequence. Let's get on with things. We assign our damage control teams. They go in the little blue boxes anywhere. First of all, we're starting on that plane and you can see because it's pointing that way, it means the attack is gonna come on this half, but early on, I'm not too worried about that. I want to get all these are different advantages or benefit actions. So I'm going to start with down here. This will give me an extra supply. Just try and build that up a little bit so I've got it. And the other one, I should have told you they. Um, I might as well put it there, so that means I can lock in a number four dice. Yeah, I've not actually explained how to win the game. <laughs> um, if the bridge is destroyed, and you can see that by being destroyed, it's if all these are filled in with damage, all these little circles, you lose. And similarly, if two compart any other two compartments are filled in, you lose as well. If you get rid of all these planes, you win. That's it. Apologies for that. So... We've got that. Um, at this point, you can use a supply to to reduce damage. Well, if you've got any fires or leaks, which we'll come on to, you can uh, get rid of them in the compartment they are, which then turns to just normal damage because fire and leaks both spread, so you don't want them. But it costs a, a supply. We don't want that. So we're not doing that. And after that, we gain the benefit action. Well, as I said, that's one extra supply. So we've now got two supply. And we lock in one of our D10s to a four. So I'll put that up there. Talk to that about that in a minute. That comes in phase three. Phase two is the aircraft attack. So this aircraft is attacking. It's going to give one fire damage and one water damage. So I'm going to roll. And it's 
compartment at eight, which is here, the engine room, on this side. There's a, there's a number eight over there as well. Now, we, we can spread the damage, divide it between the target compartment and one adjacent compartment of my choice, equally as possible. Um, so, put a little that cube, the number eight. There's also a penalty action there, which we'll come to. Now, leaks try to go down, fire tries to go up. It's always best to have it so that can happen because otherwise you can end up with increased damage. So I'm just going to split it between the crew quarters and the engine room. So the leak is going to go there. I'm going to try and get rid of these leaks anyway. And the fire is going to go there in the engine room. And we then cross them off and also that plane's gone. So we've got one plane's done. So that's the damage done, but we've got this penalty action, fire. Start a fire in the target compartment or adjacent compartment where no damage control team exists. Well, there's no damage control team. So I want the fire somewhere lower down, but it can be an end. Um, yeah, any adjacent compartment. I don't want two fires in the engine room, so. Try and spread the damage so the compartments don't get destroyed. So that is phase two, the aircraft attack. We now roll the six D10s, or five, because we've already got one of them. And you can re-roll these twice, so you can, a bit like Yahtzee if you've ever played that, I think. I haven't played it for years. So that's what we've got now. This, is, this isn't bad. Um, three. Well, uh, that that will get rid of a leak. I could do with a one or a two as well. Um, just get rid of these fires. So although fives are good, because we can use the five inch guns, I'm going to re-roll one or a two. Now we're risking getting some extra damage here because the further up you go, but we've got a two. We've got another four which I'm going to keep, and I'm just going to re-roll one. Hopefully we'll get another one or a two. We don't get anything seven or above. Oh, I'm going to re-roll that. I can't even see what it is. <laughs> it's a seven. It's not a disaster. But, um, so we now resolve these actions from this way across. So number two is the hose. You may extinguish a number of fires anywhere in your ship equal to the number of twos rolled. You use a black pen to trace the red mark. So we get black marker. We've got two fires, we can only get rid of one. I'm going to get rid of that one. That's that still. Three. Wrench. You may fix number of leaks anywhere in your ship, equals number three, so we've got rolled one. We've only got one leak, which is there, so we get rid of that. And then we've got four fours. 20 mil and 40 mil guns reduce the damage of the next enemy aircraft to hit you. Mark out number of damage pips on the enemy enemy aircraft equal to the number of fours. You must mark them out from left to right and extra damage continues from one aircraft to this. Basically what we're doing here, we've got three. So we've got rid of that next aircraft there because there's three damage marks on that. Seven, a leak has burst. So add a leak to the target compartment or any of its adjacent compartments by drawing a blue square. So that's the target compartment. We're going to get an additional leak, so I'm going to put the leak, because this is adjacent, in the battle dressing station. You can see we've got a leak there. And the reason is, we now move on to phase five, which is leak spread. So one leak in any compartment spreads. If there aren't any leaks, you just ignore it. And the bridge never has leaks. To spread a leak, draw another blue square around the adjacent compartment below the current leak. Now this is why it's good to try and get them higher up the leaks on the upper deck rather than the lower deck because now I can do the leak there or there, whichever. Um, because if if there is no compound below, you draw a leak in the adjacent compounds to the left and right. So if there wasn't any below, we'd be putting it in two. So instead I'm getting a leak in one, which isn't great, but I'm going to put a leak there. So we've got a leak there, 
the engine room. Not a great start actually this. And then we do the fire spread, which is the similar. Um, we did it. But in, if it, here, if there's no compound bulb, then the fire is an explosion, which causes more damage. So again, we have got a fire where we can move up. So the fire is spread there to the battle dressing station. Right. And that is the end of the turn. So now we check where we're going with our damage control teams again. So let's have a look and I'm just I'm gonna use probably gonna use a supply here. There's no there's no actual benefit action on the, the battle dressing station, but you can use an action. Or do I want to I've got two for, yeah, I do. Um, because I can repair all fires and leaks in that compound, so I can use that. But because I'm getting rid of a supply, I'm going to put one here as well to get the supply back up again. So let's do this first. So I'm going to spend one supply, so we're down to one, use that, and we get rid of this leak and this fire. Apologies that it's a bit shaky when I shake when I. Uh, Scribble on the thing. I can't do anything about that with my uh, my table. But we get an extra supply there, so we, we go up to two supplies again. We now roll. The plane again is facing that way, so it's in the aft section. Eight. So it's the engine room again. That's not great. So we're going to get. Um, so what damage have we got? Three lots of damage. I'm going to split it so we're going to get a leak in the crew quarters above. I'm going to get a fire in the engine room. And I'm going to get debris in the crew quarters. Oh, actually, should I have done that? No, it should have been a little mistake there with that. That shouldn't have been crossed, so I'm just putting that to remind because if there's odd number of damage, the most has got to be in the target compound, which makes a lot of sense, obviously. Um, so yeah, that has to go there. So we have done all that. And then we've also got the penalty action here. Start firing the target compound or adjacent compound where no damage control to. Well, this time I'm going to put it in the propeller room Again, spreading the damage. So that's done. We now move on to our rolling stage. Yeah, another one. I've not seen that yet, but uh, I'll show you what we do with that too. So that's good because that can put out one of the fires and we've got three. So we've, we've got three and two actually. Two leaks, three fires. So we need some decent rolls. Let's have our first re roll. It's not bad because well, you see you've not seen what happens with the bridge actions yet. Last re-roll, see if we can get something. No, two well, six is nothing. So no, we're gonna have another leak. So we do it from left to right. We've got three fires. I've also got a leak in a bottom compound which I don't want. So what I'm going to do here, now with the bridge action, what you do is you can use to mark off these stars. So that if you mark off four stars, you get extra supply. Then you've got to do six, six sorry, six, one. Sorry, one star gets you an extra supply, then it goes to two, then three then. You can have clear skies, which means for the next turn, no aircraft appear. Or you can have Wildcats, if you got get five stars. So each one, you could cross off one of these to get towards things now. I'm not going to do that. That is a good one. I like having that used that last time. Because that'll take out the plane. But we've got fires and leaks to deal with. So I'm going to move. You can actually use them to do any other action. So I'm going to do one there. And one there. So we've got three fires to put out. And we're going to be able to put them all out.
we can now get rid of one leak. Now this leak can't go down any further, so we'd have a bit of trouble there. So that's that. Six is a glancing blow, nothing happens. There is one action that says something, that something does happen with that, if it's one of the penalty actions. But eight, now we have a leak. So a leak burst, so we add a leak, the target compartment or any adjacent compartment. Mm -hmm. So the target, I'm gonna add the leak here. There's no damage yet. So that's that phase. The leak spreads. So the leak spreads here and here. So we get another leak in the engine room. So the engine room's taking a lot of damage. And also we get one in the propeller room. So a lot of damage early on there. And we've not managed to take out any plane, any, any of the pips. And it's, uh, more damage next turn and again it's it's hitting the F zone so damage control not too worried about that because we've, mm -hmm. we've got three leaks actually haven't we um now that i think i'm gonna put one there because the, that benefit action immediately repair one leak anywhere because i don't really want to use an action to do that so we're going to get rid of one leak and I want to lock in number four dice there. So let's roll to see where we get the damage. One. Because that's that. That's that. Oh, sorry, I've not. So I should have done my actions. So we can lock in a number four. And this should have been done so they, we can repair a leak. And I want to repair one of these two because it can't go down. And I'm going to repair that one because if I don't get rid of that one and it starts to spread, it'll go left and right. So it'll take out another compound and that engine will be in danger. So we split between this and adjacent ones. So it's got to be one and two. We've got leaks and a fire. See that it makes a lot of difference because it's down there on its own. So I'm going to have a leak there, a leak there, and a fire here. Plus, I've got another leak coming there. And again, it, I think it's, it's that leak where no damage control team exists, where none, none exists in either. I'm going to do it in the one that has the least damage at the minute, which is the rudder. Probably not a good move because the beauty of that one is there's only one adjacent compartment, but yeah, I've never done that. So let's move on. Again, we've got one, two, three, four, five leaks and one fire. So we need ones and threes. We've got two threes, that's not bad. Ones. Ooh, this is pretty good. So the one that can change to a three. Final roll. Five. Not bad. That'll take me onto something a little quandary about. So how many leaks have we got? One, two. I need to take out those two because I've got nothing below them. That one. So I'm getting rid of three leaks. And there's a leak there as well, so I want four leaks. I'm going to get rid of four leaks. I'm not going to get rid of a fire. So, four leaks. I want to get rid of one, two, and then I want to get rid of the two other ones as well. Oh, I've just done the wrong ones again. I've made a mess there. I want to get rid of those, the bottom ones, not the top ones. But I've done it now, of course, I'm not doing it wrong again, so... Um, that's that's going to really hurt me making that mistake. We've got a four, so that gets rid of one damage pip on the next plane. So that one, and then a five. Now, 
this is where I've read quite a bit from people about this. Now, I don't really agree with how they do it, but the, the total number of hits must be divided between two adjacent aircraft anywhere. Kates are immune to these attacks. There's a the Kates, they've got a little reminder on there. Now, the way people seem to play it is, if you've got one, you divide it and you've got half a hit in each, so it, no, you don't take any pips out. So you've got to have two fives. Or four fives, or even six fives, um, to get full use of it. I don't really agree with that, but it seems to be the way to play it, so I'm playing it. So that is doing no damage. Well, that's that done. I'm now look to spreading leaks, and I've messed myself up here. So any leak drops down, and it goes to the left and right. So this one causes another load of damage. Just move that that way. Another load of damage. That one won't spread again, but that one will. So that causes another one here. And left and right. So it's going to... It'd go to the lower one, wouldn't it, the leak? So we'll do that. That's the leak. So then fire. Fire. If it can't spread upwards, then the fire is an explosion again. Instead, in this case, draw debris in each adjacent compartment. So you draw it in each adjacent, but not in the actual compartments. There's the fire. So, debris in the rudder. So there we go with that. So that's all the extra damage. We now... What I want to do, really, is... I want to use those two. Uh, not that one, and this one. I'm going to use two bits of supply, I'm going to use all my supply because there's three damage there, two damage there, but I can get rid of them all with my supply. So that's what I'm doing. So we've run out of supply, we've used the two supplies. We put all these out. So we've just got one leak there at the moment. And you can see, no damage in the fore section yet, although there's about to be. Let's roll it's pointing that way. So for the first time it's number one in the bow. Which is not too bad. Oh, I've not. Yeah, that. So that, sorry, benefit action first two. So I can cross off. There's the green one for that. Two stars here. So we can get another one and then we get clear skies to we don't really need one at the minute. We could have done one more last turn, really. And then this one, I think that means there's no spreading leak next turn. Yeah, we skip phase five, which is the leak spreads phase, so that's good. So that leak isn't going to spread this turn, even if we don't get rid of it. So, damage. Um, we've got an explosion and a leak. So the leak is going to go in the adjacent one. The explosion always has to go in, hit the target. Now, this isn't too bad, so... We've got a leak there, you can see. Explosion means debris in all adjacent compartments. Well, there's only one adjacent one, so we only get out that, so that's not too bad. But then we've got a, a leak there. Start a leak in the target compartment or adjacent compartment where no damage is going to. So I'm going to start a leak in that compartment there. So we're back up to three leaks, but no spreading leaks this turn, remember. Let's go. Um, we're rolling that one again. So we've got a three. We've got leaks. So we want threes. Have we got a fire? No. Oh. I do that. You see, that's waste. It's why I'm not being very brave on this turn. It's just because if we keep rolling that and I end up up there, I'm not going to damage. So one for the bridge. Um, I'm going to just use these two, so that, again, not risk re-rolling in case I get something high, because we want to try and get stem this damage, so the one, I'm going to move that to become a three, to get rid of some water damage. Two, no fire, but we can get rid of two leaks. And what have we got? That one can't drop down, they can't drop down. Where's the next plane going? The next plane's going there with another leak, so. I'm 
we're going to get rid of those two leaks. So we've just got one leak now. So we've, we've started to fight our way back. Damage control teams are going to be doing a good job. Four. So we take out one pip for next turn. Five. You remember what I said? We've got an odd number there. And six is a glancing blow. No effect. So, so let's go again. Got no supplies left now, remember. Damage control teams. Where do we want to go? One that you can't place more than one in any place apart from there. And the bridge, you can't go into the bridge in consecutive turns. So if I want, went in there this turn, I couldn't do it next turn. I don't know why I've just explained that. You know what consecutive means. I'm going to try and get another supply back. And I'm going to lock in a, a four. I'm not going to use, well, I haven't got any supply. So supply... I now have, we've got back to one, one extra supply. And we can lock in a four. Next turn. Let's roll to see where the damage has come in this time. So it's an eight. In this side. And we've got a leak and an explosion. Yeah, he's eating a bloody engine room again. For God's sake. Just, we, we're going to lose this game because um, this engine room. So the leak goes elsewhere because the explosion has to hit here. I'm going to have the leak in the battle. Then explosion. So every adjacent one gets debris. I'd already done that. So I'd already crossed that one by mistake. So a lot of adjacent ones here as well. This one's adjacent. This one's adjacent. This one's adjacent, and this one's adjacent. Plus, penalty. Start firing the target compartment or adjacent compartment. I don't know damage. I'm going to start that fire in this one. Okay. So what have we got as damage now? Nothing that end. One leak. Two leaks. So we need at least... Threes or ones, or two. I've got a couple of ones there. So, oh, let's do. I knocked that from a four actually, but again, my fault. So, stuck that. So, a one and a three. So that's brilliant. We've um, got everything we need. We've got two leaks. I'm right in saying, yeah. So I'm just going to use those two to get rid of that. With these ones. I'm going to start doing a bit of trying. I'm not bothered about having a clear skies turn because there's now loads of damage to repair. So I'm going to cross off two stars to get myself towards the wildcat with those ones. Now we're going to get rid of the fellow room. Uh, leaks, we've got no leaks. And then we can cause two pips of damage. So I'm not cross that off, all right. We've got two pips of damage. So we're not going to get a lot of damage next turn. I do I, something I keep forgetting to do that. I should do it as I get to the plane for the damage. I should cross it out. Um, so we've got no no leaks or fires, so no phase five or six. We're back to assigning the damage control teams, and I think. I'm going to get another supply there. And I'm going to win the bridge. So I'm going to win the bridge to so lock in a one. So we get another supply, so we're back up to two. Lock in a one. So I'll do that. And we roll for the damage. It's only worth one damage, and it's going to be. In the aft section. I think I've gone wrong somewhere because did I cross that out when I shouldn't have done? What should I have done with this? No, I don't know. I think I did the explosion on the wrong side. Which again is my detriment because of the amount of damage we're getting on that side. So, uh, so it's seven. 
So yeah, you'll have seen, you can scroll back. I don't, you know, I don't tend to edit these. I just go through them. And it is what it is. My uh, idiotic mistakes and obviously what makes it fun listening to me. Um, so we've got seven, which is the propeller room. And it's just a fire. So it's only one, so it's got to go in the propeller room. Now that three crossed out means you ignore all threes during phase four. So any rock three we roll, it goes there. We don't repair any leaks. We ain't got any leaks, so it doesn't matter. Let's roll the dice. So we have got a fire, so we can put that out. Um, not, well, I'm going to put it there again just to avoid any damage up here. So we've got two more rolls here. And we've got five there. So we can actually use this this time because we've got an even number there. So five roll with that. We've got four. So all pretty good. One. I'm going to carry on working towards getting one of the wildcats. What these are is that the wildcats are from another plane that came to help historically in the battle. And I know I've got the name wrong. Um, I don't want to say Ulysses and I don't think it is Ulysses. Oh, yes, a shamrock, which is why you've got shamrocks for it, but probably close there. Makes sense. Um, so yeah, cross one of those out. Uh, a two, so we put the fire out that we've got. A three, we don't actually look at this turn, but there isn't any leaks anyway. A four means we destroy. Again, I've done that. That was from last turn, we destroy. One pip, so again, one damage. Now a five, it's the first time we've had that, so let's just explain that. Five. Total number of hits must be divided between two adjacent aircraft anywhere. So I'm going to divide them. Still go left to right. So I'm going to do these two aircraft so they get one hit each. So let's cross that one out. Cross that one out. And that's that done. You can see, very quick to play this game. I mean, probably most half an hour in so far. Most of my time has been explaining things. Uh, damage control. We've got a lot of damage. I can't stay in the bridge, so I'm, I'm going to... Do I build supplies up? No. Um, which is where we're going. So we'll go into this side. So I'm going to... Lock a four in there. And I'm going to do that. So the special action of that is... We get to roll this along with the, the yellow dice. So we, we actually have seven dice to go along here next turn. But we're rolling it now to see where the damage goes. And it's one. It seems we're rolling the same areas on both. We've only got one thing. Let me cross that out so I don't forget this time. So it's a fire that has to go. In the bow because it's an odd number so it does in that but then we have the penalty action of a leak which can go there or there i'm going to actually put it here as well because it can only spread one ways with that it'll spread two so that's that done we're now rolling seven dice the other beauty of the six is if it finishes on a nine or a ten, I think it is. The, the, sorry, the red. Finishes on a nine or a ten, you ignore it. So what have we got? So we've already got a two and a three. So we get rid of both of those. I'm going to leave that other three there as well. And I'm going to leave the five there. So we've still got three more. Oh, that was a four on that <laughs> Leave the glancing blow, so no, nothing will happen with that. Oh, that's good. So a five and a six, so no bad ones. Two. Uh, so we put out the fire and the leak. So again, we're keeping the damage down. 
five. So we take out, as you know now, one hit and two adjacent aircraft. And I'm going to do that down here and do that and that to slow how much damage we take each turn. And six is glancing blows, so nothing happens. On to the next one. I'm going to get three hits here, just one fire. I'm going to go, I can go back in the bridge, so I'm going to have a number one. Which way is it going? It's going into here, isn't it? Um, I'm going to do the same game. I'm going to have us having seven dice next time. So our actions are we know we can have the red one and a one will be locked in. So let's roll to see where the damage is coming in the after session. It's a nine. So it's the aft fire room. Two debris, one fire. So I'm going to put there's got to be two parts of the damage to the app, so two damage, two debris, and the fire I'm going to put in the fuel tanks. You then, now it means this turn, a glancing blow, will also cause a fire. So when I mentioned earlier that there is a time where a glancing blow can cause damage. So let's see where we go. We're all in the red dice. We've got another bridge. We've got two, so we can put out that fire. So a couple of fours. So get rid of some pips. And a seven and a nine, so we're going to re-roll those. And a four, so we've got another one. So we've got one final roll here. And it's, one. And it's a one, so we've got three. And we've only got one fire to put out, I believe. So let's get rid of, and what I'm going to do I'm going to nuclear cross off two of those and I'm going to cross off one of those so our supply goes up to three and we now have a wildcat which comes straight away. It destroy, intercepts and destroys any enemy phase two aircraft and apply one damage to an adjacent enemy plane. So I want one with no damage. So I want one of these. So I want this one. Cross that out as well because we've done that one. So that's and one damage to an adjacent one. Let's take out that leak. I was thinking about going that way to reduce that. You see, they do four lots of damage, but but most of it's just debris. So on that, now we'll put out the fire. And probably gonna carry through with this video. Is it halfway through? Not quite halfway. We'll see. Um, then three lots of pips taken out here on me. So one, two, so that one's gone. And there, three. So all we've got is explosion next turn. Not too bad. So damage controls. I think I left that there, but it, did I, is it me making mistakes again or not? I don't know. No, because I had a four last time. Um, we've got plenty of supplies. This plane is going to be on this side. It wouldn't really make a difference, but... I'm going to do lock in a four. And I'm going to lock in another four. Or do I go for a seven? Keep talking the camera. And I'm looking two fours, so we don't get to roll the red dice with it this time. Let's roll to see where the explosion damage is going. So it's five. Five in the four deck. Communications. You know what explosion means? That's debris in all adjacent ones, so I don't actually get any damage here, but 
communications adjacent, storage is adjacent, the crew quarters are adjacent. Never know, I'm doing the wrong one again, aren't I? Let me just pause that. While I... Apologies for that, I'm correct now. So the damage is here, the explosion is here in the communications area. Not what I was doing. So you've got it. So we've got our first damage in the bridge. Radar. Crew. Magazine. And storage. So we get all damage in all those. I don't know if it's blue or not. It's, it's, it's... And then this symbol, which I'm not sure what that means, so let's have a look at that. Mark out an empty FM wildcat cell. So don't specify which one, so we're going to mark out the bottom one. So we can't use that, we're never going to get down to that anyway. So, so we're on our phase. Got the two fours already. Got a one. Yeah. Use a three and they won't go leak anywhere. Um oh, if you can see that it's a five, which I don't think is gonna be a lot of good to me, but I'm gonna use it and then last roll with this. It's a three, so yeah. What we're gonna do here. I'm not bothered about using it to cross off to get the clear scan. I might start on the new wildcat. See if that can get rid of a plane in the future, so we'll do that. No use. Two pips go in there. So where are we? So we've got that one wiped out. So oh, we've actually got another plane gone there. So we're on this one now. And a five. Can't use it because of this splitting of fractions. Damage control. Let's go. Where are we going? Where's the new plane going? It's one fire in that direction. I can go back on the bridge actually, so I'm gonna do that so I can get working on this. And I'm gonna lock in a four. So where, where's the damage coming this time? Number eight, yet again, in the engine room. So we're going to get one fire that's got to be in the engine room. But then with this penalty, actually, I've not locked those in, so I'll come back to that. Another fire in another adjacent area. I'm going to do that, even though that's a bit of a risk because it can't go up from there. So you could end up with an explosion, but what have we got locked in? Should have locked in a one and a four. So that... One that's locked in can take out the fire anyway, so we'll be on that. So we've now got those to go. I haven't seen what that is. Like. We've got, oh, two ones and a four. That's pretty good, that. Nine. Last one. And a three. So the three, no good because we haven't got any. Um, I don't got any leaks. I'm going to use two of the ones to take out the two fires. So we've got no more leaks there. And we're going to go after that wildcat. And we now get rid of two more pips. And we're right across to here now. Uh, I'll get a bit of damage next to him, not a lot there. The realistic level is actually easier, by the way, because we get assistance once we get to here. We get assistance in taking these planes out. So it looks like we've got loads to do, and we haven't. So I can... Uh, uh, I'm going to go for an extra dice roll again. It's going that way still, isn't it? And 
I'm going to lock in a four. So we'll get the, the red dice with us this turn. Well, let's see where the damage is going first. So it's a four. So it's in the crew quarters. And we've got one debris. Ah, but the debris has got to go elsewhere because the, we split these between the one and the jet and the explosion's always got to be in the target one. So the debris I'm going to put here. Then the explosion affects every adjacent one. So we've got the one there. Getting dodgy with that one. And this one. So we've almost lost the compartment now. And that means we don't roll. There's one fewer dice during phase three. Well, I'm going to make that a yellow one that I don't roll because the red one that I can roll, nines and tens don't affect it. If we finish on a nine or a ten, we discount it. Slight advantage. So we've got a one. So another one. Um, one from, we've got no fires or anything, have we? So, but. Got re-roll once. Try and get some more. Yeah, I'm going to re-roll all three. I'm going to take a risk. Two. No, I'm not taking a risk this time. But a four. It's all right, so we want want this one to see if this goes up. And it's an eight. So we're going to have a leak somewhere. Let me keep it well away from that engine room. So we've got two ones. So I'm going to... That off yet again. So both ones I'm going to use for the Wildcats. So we're getting close to having another one. The two doesn't do anything. No fires. So we get two pips going. So we get rid of those two. Now the eight. So the leak is in any target or any adjacent. Any adjacent comments by Drew. So where do we want to go? We don't want to go there. So this is the, it can be any of these, which is the, it's not great with any of them, is it? Fucking dodging this. I'm gonna, crew quarters I'm going to do but a little bit of a risk because if we don't get rid of that then it will leak down in there and it will destroy that engine room next to it but I'm fairly confident we can do something like that. Um, no I'm not going to do that because we've got to do the leak phase now haven't we which will drop it straight down into the engine room so the leak is going to be it's all the same, so I'm going to put the leak here, and then in the leak phase, we get another one here. So it runs down. Right, we've got three. I'm going to put that there because I'm going to use a supply to get rid of that leak. I'm going to take a punt there, I'm going to get rid of one there, and I'm going to go back in the bridge this turn. Because all we're going to get is two debris on from this one into this side. So first of all we do our action from so use a supply to get rid of that leak. So we're down to two supply again. Um, and that, that one means if you, if you go to try and use some supply get rid of leaks etc that can respond to any adjacent compartment in it four five phases four five or six so it can respond to any of these so in theory i could use it to get rid of that with the supply at a later stage there's that and then we lock in a one as well which would also get rid of the so see so where the damage is going it's a 10 in the ah we only have one 10 fuel tanks We've actually got to lock in. Uh, well, let's do this first. We've got two lots of debris. Let's cross this plane off that I keep forgetting to do. So 
one Debbie goes in that one. Flat back pin. And then another adjacent one. Well, it, that one. We're all right in this part of the ship. It's, it's, the, it's the aft that's taken a hammer in. So that's that. So with this red one, we lock in a 10. So we're going to get an explosion. But it's not the end of the world because it is, we actually get an explosion in the area that's taken very little damage. So we're not too bad. Although that aft bit will be tricky. Yeah, so I'm saying not too bad. We're in danger of losing both of these sections, actually. So anyway, let's, let's roll. And see what we're That's a five, that's a five, that's a four, that's a glancing blow six. I think I'm going to stick with that because the one will get rid of that. So I can see that then. So the one will get rid of the leak, four will get rid of that, two five. So I'm going to choose. Amazing. I'm trying to get as few as possible damage from him as a I choose that and that as the adjacent craft to it. And six is a glancing blow now. Let's look at the explosion, what damage that does. Add debris to any damaged compartment and every adjacent compartment to it by filling in one bubble. So any damaged compartment. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna say this one. Because there's very little damage around his head. That's the compartment. That's the compartment. That one. And that one. So that's not too much trouble at all there. One thing I'm, well, I'm reading the rules, and I can't see any about it. This explosion thing where when it's actually happening, I mean, it mentions it there about debris to any damaged compartment. In the when you're actually rolling with the red dice, it doesn't say the compartment itself. It just says every adjacent one, which is how I'm playing it. Um, yeah. Use black pens to fill in a bubble on every adjacent compartment. It doesn't say the one you're in, which seems a bit weird. Although, you know, whether it's saying that the damage is from elsewhere and then, you know, from a fire or a leak and then it just explodes outwards. I don't know. But anyway. So, right, damage control teams. We've just been in the bridge, so we can't go back there. I want to lock in a four, because I want to get rid of that. Do I lock in two fours? Yes, I do. have two fours locked in. Yeah, I know. What if I get loads of damage? No, I'm not going to get loads of damage. So... A one, not too bad, because that's in the stern. So there's only one bit of damage we take with that. So as you know by now, it goes in this, in that one. So that goes, so that one's gone. But we've got a leak. So a leak, yeah, I've not locked those in, I'll do them in a minute. Just a leak. In the target compound, or adjacent compound, where no damage control team is this. I'm going to do it in the one I'm in. It doesn't really matter, but it does slightly because it can only spread to one adjacent one. So we've got one leak. We've got two fours li locked in. We're going to win this, which is right, I think, well, probably, unless we get a really bad roll with, with these, where there's a lot of damage, but... Feels though it's a bit easy. I've seen them playing it now. I've looked at a couple of playthroughs, but so yeah, it's just going to get me now by having terrible luck. I'm going to re roll the six, even though it could be a glancing, glancing work, so I need a three or a one. <sighs> We've not got it. So now I've said I'm going to win this, it's going to really hammer me this turn. Final roll. Yeah, it really is. So that leak's going to spread. Plus another leak and another leak. So yeah, <laughs> literally after I've said it. 
Well, it'll be far off losing this turn. Well, let's see. So you do it in order. So two fours. They go out. And then spread the damage there. I'm going to spread it. Hopefully you'll see why in a minute. Uh, no, no, I'm going to do that. And that. Now, we've got two leaks to spread here. One to spread, sorry, to allocate. I'm just um, checking our wording. To the target compartment or any of its JSON commands. So we really hit with these two leaks. So. Yeah, we really are. I'm going to put them both in here, which almost wipes us out because in the next phase, leak spreads. We've got three leaks to spread into here. I know it says one leak in any compartment spreads. I've been playing that wrong, actually. I've been critical on myself. Again, bit about one leak in any compartment spreads. So no leaks anyway. So does that mean every compound with leak in it spreads or just one leak in total spreads? Anyway. So at least there's only one leak coming through there. To there. But we're very close to being taken out here and here because we've got seven lots of damage there. But let's go for the... Um, now I'm going to put that in one because I can get rid of all the leaks at least. This turn. And I've got something else to do as well. Which I'll tell you in a minute. I'm going to go back in the bridge. So yeah, because we're playing the realistic rules. At the beginning of the turn in which all non-Shamrock aircraft are eliminated which is this, place the green cube on any aircraft with a shamrock icon. That aircraft is destroyed if it still exists at the end of the turn. So that's the next one that's going to be hit. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to put it there next to that one. All right. So the actions I'm going to use on supply and we're going to Get rid of all these leaks. And we've got a one. Pretty well there. So we're very close to getting another wildcat. We can get two ones on there. We'll get rid of another of these planes. So it's going to be tight actually. So it's, we've got a one. <laughs> and which way's the plane face? Oh, thank God for that. That plane is facing that way, so the one is going at the other end at the bow where we haven't got a lot of damage. But what damage? We've got an explosion to come this turn, that's it. The explosion has to happen in the target one. Debris elsewhere. So the crew quarters goes up to one. Then we have a leak in the target compound and adjacent one where it's going to go in the target one. So we're all right on this side. Let's get on with. That's a seven there, so it's no good. So we've got a two. Have we got a fire? We haven't got a fire. I'm gonna, um, how many leaks have we got? How many leaks over here? We've just got one there, so I want to try and get rid of one. We also don't want any damage, so two more rolls with these. Three and a four. So we'll get rid of the leak and we'll do another bit of damage there. So a one. Do I go for that? I don't think I'm going to need it. I'm... No, I'm going to try and do that. So that one, I'm going to cross out this. If we get another one, I think that might finish it next turn. We'll have got rid of them as long as we don't lose two compartments. So no fire to put out. There is a leak to get rid of. Two pips to get rid of again, so all we're left here with an explosion. And 
a glancing blow. So that's done that. No leaks, no fires. End of the turn. That plane's still there. So the USS Shamrock, the Wildcats, have come to help us and destroyed that one. And then move the cube to another aircraft. So we've only got one, two, three, four aircraft left. So I'm going to use it to get that one next turn. Damage control, what do we want here? I think we want a couple of fours to try and take out more of these. So the damage. That one's gone. That one's gone. It's this one, so it's in a bit. Of we are in a bit of trouble here. So it'll be interesting. We're not. It's going to be tight. This. So let's put the fours up, and then I'll start talking about. So we've got two fours locked in, haven't we? Here. So aft two, and we've got an explosion. Um, that's all we're going to get, but the explosion from there goes there, there and there. So, as you can see, the stern has gone. That's gone. So we could still lose, because if we get any damage here, we're in a lot of trouble. The two there, the, so I need to do it this turn. So I was, for me saying, yeah, we've got this, it is coming down to the last turn, I think. And a bit of luck, if we don't do that, we still might have a bit of luck with the holes. So. Um, and actually that one will only damage that end, which will be good. So, right. This, mark out two empty clear sky cells. So, can't do that one, can't do that one. Let's roll these forward and see where we go. Um, we'll just use that one, haven't we, as well? So that one's going to go at the end turn. That one's already gone. So it's just these two. So we've got seven pips in total. We're going to get rid of two. I don't want any more fours because that would just leave one debris. And the only way we would lose is if we rolled. Oh, no, it's going to that direction. So we've got this. We've got this. I don't want any fours. You'll see. Why. I've got two fours. So, um, and that text. I've got four. One, two, three, four. Well, that was coming. So I'm re-rolling these because that leaves me with the chance of getting these. So I'm here. So we've got three. Chuck that in there. We haven't got any leaks. We've got nine and a ten there. So, got a five. That's good. We've got a 10, we've got an explosion, but that's not a problem. So nothing there. Two pips have gone here. Just leave just one Debbie next turn. That plane's going. The two hits though, I'm gonna take that and that, even though it's going. And then we want the explosion, which Add debris to any damaged compartment and every adjacent compartment, so I can choose. So I'm going here. So that's the compartment. That one, that one, that one, that one. That's that done. End of the turn. This guy's gone. Move that up there so you can see what's going to happen at the end of next turn. So all we've got here is one damage to come. So I'll put that, and the damage is going to that end. So we're fine here. Um, it doesn't matter what I do. Oh, I'd, well, I'm just thinking because I could end up with some things here, which wouldn't be good. So let's, I don't want to roll an extra dice. Bridge. And a four. So we're going to look in a four and a bridge. Um, not going to use any supplies. Nothing. Oh, just 
Let's lock them in, don't I? Um, the actions roll for one damage, so it goes to that one, so it doesn't accept any fives. Next turn, it's one debris. And that. Yeah, so we have the debris here. Then, I can't remember if I marked it off. I just, I just pause it then, just so um, it doesn't mark because it's not going to get long to the end and we know we're done. So that's the damage. No fives count. We don't need any fives. Let's just roll them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the debris we've done, so we're down to that last player. That, that, that's it, I'm not worrying about anything else. Actually, I can get rid of that plane anyway now because with one of the ones I do that, we get an extra wildcat to come out to help us. Job done, all done. And that is. USS Laffrey, the ship that would not die. So it didn't die, we lost one area, got close, with this one in particular. Not a lot of damage up here, not a lot of damage on the bridge. And yeah, it's it's not a game that I'm gonna play constantly, but, but it, is, it is good fun doing it. I do, I have enjoyed playing it, um, and I will play it. And if I'm going somewhere and think oh, there's not a lot of room, you can see how little room it takes. So it's ideal. So. Hope you've enjoyed that. A bit longer than my normal uh, ones, but I knew I could get it all done in one turn. And hopefully, I've not made any mistakes. And don't think I am doing because I've followed the rules. Um, like I said, there's certain things like this bit I don't particularly agree with. And also, um, the bit about explosions where you don't get explosions in the target zone there. But there are different levels. So the, the most difficult level, which I will try. Next, I think it's the base game, but with only one damage control team. So that'll make it a bit trickier. But thank you for tuning in. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And I will be back soon with another playthrough.